آلو نزاکت Hi, I'm Anupa and I welcome you to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. Now let's make a very popular starter from the yellow chili, which is Chef Sanjeev Kapoor's Indian restaurant, which is located in quite a few places in India and abroad. This recipe is alu nazakat, potatoes which are stuffed with paneer. A lovely starter. Let's quickly run through the ingredients. For this, I need five large potatoes, oil to deep fry, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 2 tablespoons red chilli powder, 3 4 teaspoon garam masala powder, 1 tablespoon roasted gram flour, half cup hung yogurt, salt to taste, 1 4 teaspoon dried fenugreek leaves also known as kasuri methi, half tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, 1 4 teaspoon of green chilli paste. For the stuffing we need half a cup of paneer, 3 4 inch ginger finely chopped, 1 tablespoon of fresh coriander leaves chopped, 1 tablespoon of mint leaves chopped. 10 chopped raisins, 6 cashew nuts fried and chopped, half teaspoon red chilli powder, 3 4 teaspoon chaat masala, salt to taste, half teaspoon cumin powder. Okay, so this is what we need to make alu nazakat. Now, first of all, we have to see how we need to prep the potatoes. That's most important here. We need large potatoes like this, and after you've washed it, first peel it. Peel it in one direction. And as far as possible, try and use potatoes which are longer, not fatter, but longer. So after you've peeled this, just slice off the top like this. And with the help of a scoop, a scoop like this, keep on scooping the center. Now whatever trimmings that are left with you, like these, keep it aside. So keep on scooping and create a nice good enough cavity for us to stuff these potatoes. Now yellow chili has been there since good amount of time. The first yellow chili opened in Ludhiana and ever since there's no looking back, there are many restaurants as of today. So alu nazakat has been on the menu right from day one and it's quite a popular starter there. Okay, so after you've scooped this, Keep it aside and what you have to do is boil this in good amount of water. So after the potatoes are cooked, they will look something like this. Basically, the potato should be firm, but yet it has to be cooked at least till it is three-fourths done. Not completely because we have to further fry this and then bake it. It's quite a lengthy recipe, but I'm sure by the end of it, you'll be very happy. So after you have blanched the potatoes, we have to now fry them. Now, what we are going to do is I have enough oil that is heated here. Now, these potatoes which we have blanched, I am going to fry. Carefully put them in. And we have to fry this till it is light golden in color. The potatoes will take some time to turn golden. Make sure you turn the potatoes at regular intervals so that the browning is even. Okay, so in the meanwhile, let's prepare the stuffing and the marinade. First we need to take some oil. This is for the marinade. For the marinade we need oil which has to get well heated to which we'll add some spices. Now spices like turmeric or for that matter red chilli powder if they are sauteed well in oil it doesn't leave any raw flavor. So it's very important for us in Indian cooking to lightly saute all the spices in oil. You could also roast them, but since this is quite a delicacy, we'll prefer to saute them in oil. So once the oil is well heated, we'll add some turmeric powder, some red chilli powder, and to this we'll add gram flour. Switch off the gas and that's it. Just mix this. So you'll automatically get the roasted flavor of the turmeric, red chilli powder and gram flour. That's it. So this is it. Just mix this up well. Make sure there are no lumps in this because we are going to add yogurt to this. And this is what is going to be our marinade on the potatoes. Let's have a look at the potatoes here. You see this? It's happening and as in how the potatoes cook, they go light. So initially when we had added them to the oil, they were quite heavy. Now when you turn them, you'll feel the lightness of the potato. And you see this, it's 
started browning some more time and it will be just perfect for us to make aloo nazakat okay now what we'll do is we'll take a bowl in which we'll add this roasted gram flour mixture to this we'll add some salt some ginger garlic paste some kasuri methi this is roasted kasuri methi so just lightly crush it with your hands okay and to this we'll add some garam masala and some yogurt this is hung yogurt how do you make hung yogurt now yogurt when you buy from the market has got a lot of moisture and especially when you have to make kebabs like this you need to get rid of the moisture the excess moisture which is there in the yogurt what you have to do is take the yogurt and put it in a muslin cloth or a cheese cloth after you put it in that you will see automatically that excess water is getting drained off but how long will you hold it like that so just tie the muslin cloth make it into a bag and put it into a colander or a strainer and put some weight over it you could put a mortar you could put anything that you have in your kitchen which is quite heavy so when that weight comes onto the yogurt in the muslin cloth whatever excess water that is there in the yogurt gets drained off and you get this nice thick yogurt in your supermarkets if you get nice good thick yogurt you don't have to really hang it to get rid of the moisture basically if the yogurt has lot of moisture then you have to get rid of it but if you have thick yogurt with you just use it without doing any draining so this is it mix this well make sure there are no lumps so we'll turn the potato once again this one is almost done but we'll just cook it for some more time and in the meanwhile i'll also do one more thing is that i have these trimmings with me these trimmings also have to be fried so slowly slide them in the oil so while the potatoes are getting done even the trimmings will get cooked and why should we waste the trimmings the one that we have scooped out we'll fry and we'll use the same thing in the stuffing so just mix it once okay so you see this potato this is done we'll remove this onto a tissue paper the other two are yet to be done by the time this is done we'll also be ready with our marinade and the stuffing so this is it just mix it well the marinade is ready now we need to make the stuffing for the stuffing i have with me some paneer to which we'll add some red chili powder some salt in this we'll add some ginger finely chopped ginger we'll add some cashew nuts these are fried and chopped we'll add some raisins some chaat masala cumin powder this is roasted cumin powder and after this we have to just mix this up two more things we need to add to this is coriander and mint now after you've taken this just together chop it off okay so add this to the stuffing now there's one more thing that's missing in this and that is the potato which is frying in this pan so let's see what has happened to these potatoes okay so these are done we'll now drain them drain off the excess oil and put them onto the tissue paper now these trimmings that we have put in the oil are yet to get colored so this may take anywhere around 5 more minutes just mix this once and we have to fry this till it basically cooks as of now the potato has cooked but i still want it to fry a little more till it gets lightly golden in color so this potatoes are done we'll drain them off on this tissue paper so after the potatoes have cooled down lightly we have to chop them so take them all on to the chopping board and very lightly run a knife over it like this that's it and we have to add all of this to the stuffing now mix this up our stuffing is ready but before we stuff the potato with this we'll have to check for seasoning because seasoning is something that you cannot adjust later especially with the stuffing so mix this up nicely while mixing mash the potato even further like the way i'm doing and just lightly taste this perfect you don't need to add anything else the raisin is giving that slight sweetness otherwise all the masalas are just perfect so this is done now let's take the potato and stuff it up 
be quite generous with the filling put the filling and lightly press it so that you can add more filling to this okay so you see this be quite generous as i said fill it up nicely okay so we are done with the stuffing now time to marinate one thing i forgot to mention earlier is that we also have to add green chili paste to this so here's the green chili paste after you've added that mix it up once again green chili paste the one that i'm using is slightly spicy this is it now lightly marinate the potato with this so after this just use your hands and marinate it nicely and also we need a baking tray so apply a little oil to this okay back to the marination after you've done this place the potato on the greased baking tray so after we've done this now we have to bake this in the oven for about 15 minutes at 200 degrees celsius after 7 minutes you may have to turn the potato so that the browning is even so you see the aloo nazakat is ready we have to now cut this because we had greased the tray the potato has not stuck to this now since the potato is quite hot we'll use a fork to hold this and then lightly press this lovely cut this into thick slices like this and we'll place them on a serving platter here you go aloo nazakat is ready make this recipe just the way i have made it and you'll love it